Are you a first time immortal in Diablo Immortal? Worried about getting your legendary pieces from the Kion's ordeal? I got a few tips for you. Let's go. What up YouTube? It's your boy JKG Brandon back with some Diablo Immortal content. Here we are in Kion's ordeal. Uh, but before we actually get into the video uh, regarding just the very super basics on, on what to do and how to go about this, uh, I want to say thank you for all the love and support on the channel. You guys are amazing. We're trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. So if you could go ahead and hit that subscription animation there down at the bottom. And uh, we're trying to get there. But uh, yeah, let's get right on into it. So if you're a first time immortal, uh, basically, you know, Kions is kind of a big deal depending on where you are in your account, um, because you can get potentially two plus le legendary pieces, <laughs> you know, every single day. Um, first things first, after the new update, you have to apply. If you don't apply, you can't get in. So definitely that is step one. Apply for the Kions ordeal or you won't be able to get in. Uh, step two, you're gonna, once you're in, there's gonna be four different bosses. Go around, check all four bosses, hop into the queue of one. Uh, it's, there's not like an actual like queue that you go in, you just kind of hang around, get into your party and wait until the, the leader uh, goes ahead and starts up the fight. Once you're in a full party, always try to be in a full party. It's just going to make everything a little bit simpler, especially if you're in a buffing class like a satyr or a barb or a monk. It's just going to make it a little bit easier. Once you're in, you're going to fight like hell. And there's going to be some fragments that, that drop occasionally. You'll see them on the mini map. Go grab one. It's going to give you guys a, a nice you know, increase in speed, as you can see that we just have that one right there. Uh, and then another little caveat, I'm going to pause this right here right now. So right above my head, this is something that's big. You can kind of see the little four icons. That's going to show you which one you are. I have the the second one over. We're at thirty three percent right there because of the little arrow. But you can see where we have eight percent, thirty three, twenty five, and thirty seven. Once you are down around twenty percent, it's not the worst thing in the world to not do this, but it is going to make everything go faster overall. If you wait around, you know, 15%, just kind of back off. Don't attack the boss. Let everybody else catch up to you. Once everybody else is at about that 15%, go ahead and hit it hard again. The reason for this is, and I'm going to go ahead and let this play out again. Uh, the reason why you do that is if one, one group beats their boss first, the other three are going to go into like this berserker mode. They're going to hit harder and do a lot more damage. It's just going to make it go a little bit slower overall. Uh, not the end of the world, but definitely if you're trying to like min max it and trying to be as efficient as possible, you're going to want to try to keep everybody within kind of about 10% damage of each other. That way it just goes as quick as possible overall. Once you have the, the, uh, the boss that you chose once you have them beat you're going to get a chest it's going to have aspirant keys and typically it's going to be a legendary uh, i don't know if it's a guaranteed legendary personally i i believe it is because i don't think i've ever had one of these chests drop without one um and i don't think i've heard of anybody have one that that didn't drop a legendary but here you can see the the chest right after the victory screen um my <laughs> my game is kind of bugged out so once i hit that victory it always sends me running for some reason i don't know why uh, but i'll run back I'll pick that up. Once you get that and you get it all picked up, go ahead and exit that portion of it. Um, you're going to basically run back over here, go through your, your portal back to the main section. And then here, you're not going to exit Kions fully. What you're going to do is you're going to stick around. There's going to be four rounds of additional legendary drops. So initially it's going to be four drops. I like to kind of make a circle, you know, run a circle around, just kind of see who's standing where. Um, if I see some of the big hitters in one circle, I may go to a less populated circle with some more people around my level, uh, so to speak. Uh, it's just kind of use your gut. You'll, you'll kind of have a gut feeling on which one to stop in. You'll have a gut feeling on, on kind of which one to stop in. Once you're in here, you can kind of see we have basically about a minute 
countdown uh, and you're going to have about a minute between rounds to kind of choose where you want to land and, and end up. Um, you're going to get assigned points. Every single person that I have talked to, we have zero clue what the points are. Is it damage? Is it healing? Is it assisting? Is it, you know, buffing people's damage? We don't know. Uh, so you're going to get a random number and, and hopefully you have the most points. If you do, you're going to get a legendary drop. You can see here, I did not get it on round one. That's awesome. One of my party mates was able to get that and they were able to go ahead and, you know, hop out of the circle, leave Kions. Don't leave Kions until either you get a legendary or all four rounds are over. Um, because that's massive, depending on the level of your account, if you're free to play, it's going to be massive because when it comes time for upgrading your gear, you're going to need those glowing shards and scrap materials and all that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, if you're free to play, you're going to want these materials so you can upgrade your gear and everything like that. Now, one thing I will say, uh, clan I'm in Aftershock United. We are in our second reign as Immortal. This is our second go around. Um, and I've seen it in both reigns. Um, it's a little bit of a pain point, but if you get a legendary drop in these bonus rounds, go ahead and leave. <laughs> um, go, leave Kions at that point and, and, and let everybody else have a chance to get a legendary piece of gear. Unless for some reason you're in a less populated Kions and there's only, you know, 10 or 15 of you in there, you know, maybe you at that point agree that it's free for all. Um, or if you are in an alliance or a clan that is doing immortal all on your own, if you have an established free for all rule in your, in your reign, by all means, stay in, try to get as many as possible. Good luck to you. That's awesome. If you're not in that, go ahead and, and hop out after you get your piece, just because it's going to be a pain point in your immortal chat and stuff. And we all, you know, we have enough drama <laughs> in, in clan chat and world. Ch there, there's enough drama around Diablo Immortal and world chat, any, any online game, really, you know, you're going to have enough drama in chats without adding to it. Right. So once you get your piece, Go ahead and bounce out at that point. Wish everybody good luck and hit the road and be on with your day. Go go farm open world, go farm dungeons, whatever you're going to do at that point, right? Uh, you can see I was able to go ahead and get that chest piece right there. So you're going to see me, you know, hop in here. I'm going to hop out of the circle ranges, type a GG good luck to my, to my party mates, and I'm out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, again... It's just a pain point. It's not like the end of the world, but <laughs> if you do get one, go ahead and hop out. The other biggest pain point is uh, if you, while you're in there, if you, you know, spam your attacks and you, you know, annihilate a boss and the other three are sitting at like 70% and you're just sitting there with it dead, with yours dead, you just made it harder on those you know, the, those, you know, teams that were struggling already, you just made it harder on them. And by, by doing that, we got, you know, we, we lose time that way. So just a couple, you know, very simple basics. If this is your first run, you know, as a mortal, um, Kions is a great way to build your account. If it's your second, you know, go around as a mortal, third go around as a mortal, whatever, you know, congratulations. That's awesome. But, you know, to all the new immortals this weekend, congratulations uh, to all outgoing immortals uh, this weekend after your right of exiles. Potentially you had a good run. <laughs> Welcome. Let's get back to being shadows and having fun. <laughs> um, uh, you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, that being said, guys. Again, if you like what I do around here, go ahead and hit that like button. YouTube gave us a new animation. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, if you like to support me and, and what I do around here, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload and you don't miss a thing. With all that, I'm JKG Brandon. Y'all have been amazing. Until I see you in the next one, love you guys. Peace.